Hi, my name is Warren Belton. I own U3 Promotions in Cork. Um, I'm adding to the COD 3 Plus today. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about, about making mistakes, uh, not being afraid to make mistakes, and I suppose staying enthusiastic um, after you've made it. You know. So um, I suppose, first of all, I just want to talk about, um, I, I, I suppose I want, I want to go through that mistakes will happen. Uh, expect them, don't try to avoid them too much. Um, you know, I, I, I suppose to be honest, I genuinely, I genuinely love mistakes. I, I embrace mistakes um, as long as it's the first time making it. If it's the second time making a mistake, it's just a little bit foolish. Uh, but okay, so I suppose just to start, um, I, I genuinely don't try to avoid them too much. Um, I have no fear of jumping into something new. Um, if I make a mistake, so be it. If it's a success, happy days. Um, you know, so. Um, you know, I, 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 I suppose just jump into new things, break comfort zones. I, d d my attitude towards a mistake is what's the worst that can happen? And, and genuinely, if you think about it, like what is the worst that can happen in any situation? Uh, if, it's, you, if you're coaching for the first time, if you're running a crew meeting for the first time and you're nervous, I mean, just jump in, just do it. Like what is the, genuinely, what is the worst that can happen? And, that's, and I say that to myself all the time. And, and it, 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 I, suppose, I suppose it has worked for me. I just have that kind of go for it attitude uh, with everything, you know, and, and it, 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 I suppose it is kind of being fearless um, towards anything. Okay, so, um, but at the same time, I, 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 at the same time, I work smart as well. I don't, I, can, I, I obviously network a lot, I do, you know, so it's just finding that combination of ringing, ringing people that have made the mistakes before you and looking for a few tips but you know you just find a combination of what to jump into and, and I, I suppose what to network on and um, but at the end of the day you know I mean there's only I suppose I believe there's only so much theory you can do you're gonna have to jump into the practical at some stage so why not do it straight away you know and, and I've always looked at it that way and um, I just thought sometimes if, if I thought too much if I stalled too much on the whole theory I'm just wasting time because at the end of the day, I'm going to have to break that comfort zone at some stage. Let's just do it now. Okay, so uh, a few of the mistakes I've made in the past, coming from, coming from a leader, I suppose, to assistant owner, uh, I've made lots of mistakes. And I, I, I think that the, only reason, the only reason I actually went through the program fairly fast was because I didn't stall. Every time I made a mistake, I, I was straight back on it. I, I didn't spend a week thinking about how bad this mistake was, or I didn't spend a week moaning about making a mistake. I just went straight back in. So I, I, I suppose I got a solution and went straight back in and fixed it. And that's the only reason I made so many mistakes. I just made them faster than everyone else, if that makes sense, you know? So um, I made loads of mistakes. I, 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 I suppose I made mistakes in coaching. I, I, it, it, took, it took me a while to get the hang of coaching. I, uh, I suppose I, 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 with coaching there's so many mistakes you could make. I, I, I was holding their hand a little bit too much. Um, I was, I, I learned the consequences of not showing, not showing new people money. I learned um, the consequences of not building a strong relationship with your team. I, I also learned the consequences of having low standards. But I genuinely, I genuinely believe the best way to learn these things is by actually practically doing them. And, and, and like, I mean, I wouldn't learn these lessons. I wouldn't learn these vital lessons if I had got on a, a conference call. Um, you know, and, and I, somebody can tell me all they want, but you, you just, it's just so much better experiencing it yourself firsthand, you know, and it's just a better experience, you know, so, um, and once again, I am, I'm still alive. Nothing happened to me after I made these mistakes. Um, I became more educated in the business, so it's a great thing. I don't know what, I don't understand what anyone's afraid of. Um, you know, I made mistakes in planning. I, I always kind of, I tried to just plan on the day. I never had a weekly plan or anything like that. And once again, you know, I suppose I, I would have I would have heard that at the start of the business. People would have told me, oh yeah, be very, very, very planned. Um, and I would have said, yeah, of course I will, yeah. But, you know, then when I got into the practical work, I wasn't planned and I learned the consequences firsthand. And it's the best way for it, you know. Um, communication with your guys. Um, I remember I was a, I was I, w I was crew leader before Christmas 2012, and um, I had I had 10 people on my team, and everything was going great. So I thought, and I went back home. 
which is about three hours away from my office. Um, went back home for Christmas, uh, spent time with the family and stuff. And over the Christmas, I didn't, I didn't call one person on my team. And to me, that was, I didn't think I, I, didn't think I needed to. Uh, it's crazy to think now, but I just didn't, I just didn't, nobody really told me I had to, <laughs> or no one told me I should. I just didn't, as a leader, I, I wasn't a good enough leader at the time, and I just didn't realize why it was important. Um, I came back in January, and everyone on my team was gone. Um, I couldn't have learned. A, a, nobody could have taught me that on a conference call. Nobody. I, I, it felt pretty bad, obviously. You know, I worked very, very, very hard. I think, I think, I think six of them were actually first generation, and uh, I worked very hard with a lot of with a lot of these people, and you know, all of them were gone in two weeks. So you know, it hit home. But um, you can be sure that I had good communication with everyone on my team after that. Um, you know, so I, like, there's just it's just I just genuinely believe, and I teach people on my team now. I just teach people not to think about things too much. Just jump in and have the attitude. What's the worst that can happen? You know, I've I, I like you know I I at the same time I tell them to be smart and have have an idea of what to expect and ha and have ha have kind of guidelines on what to do, but don't overthink it. You know, you, you, you maybe network once and just jump into it. Be fearless. Okay, so a cool way of looking at it, I think, and an easy and understandable way, is that if you come into my office and you said you wanted to get promoted, and I said okay, no problem. I said I have a list of mistakes for you to make. And it, it, it's just a list of mistakes. You'd say, okay, that's pretty easy. You just make the first mistake, no problem. And you come in the next day, you make the next mistake, no problem, you find a solution. You come in the next day, make the next one, you find a solution, make the next one, find a solution. There'd be no drama in between because all you have to do is make mistakes and learn and just progress. That's all you have to do. Like, and I suppose at the end of it, I promote you. Now, the business doesn't really work like that. You have to hit a criteria, but you hit the criteria by learning from your mistakes. So if it works for you, if it doesn't work for you, well, it, worked, it worked for me. I just pretended there's a system like this did exist. I just pretended the more mistakes I make, as long as it is for the first time, the more educated I am. And it made so much more sense. It's like the more educated I am, the closer I get to promotion. Do you know, and, it, it just, and I, I just, with a combination of this and hard work, it just happened. You know, so that's really it. Thanks very much.